Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back for another pour and I'm upstairs in the kitchen. I am home alone. My kids are at my parents for the week, so I'm super excited. They're staying at grandma and grandpa's for the week, so I don't have to have them here. Um, it's a nice little mini vacay for me, so they're having fun though. They're having fun with their cousins because my brother lives by my parents, so they get to play with their cousins, so that's fun for them. So I wanted to show you guys before I get started. If you watched my previous video where I did the comparison between um, GAC 800 and Floetrol, the pieces are now dry. So I'm gonna show you, hopefully you can see them here. This one is uh, the GAC 800. So, that turned out really, really nice. Nice and shiny, very shimmery. So this is, I'm um, gonna get a coat of uh, resin, art resin. And then this is the Floetrol one. So you can see it's got uh, a lot more cells than the GAC 800. So that one turned out really nice as well. That's really cool. So the backs are still taped because I'm gonna resin them. And I'm gonna do a video on that. So I have all the rounds that I've done um, recently and within the last week or two, um, they're all dry and they all need a coat of resin. And if you saw my big piece and everyone was saying, make it a clock or make it um, a table or whatever, I decided to make it into a clock. Um, it still needs to be resined. However, let me see if I can, I have it here. Let me see if I could just grab it and show you guys. I've put the clock hands on just temporarily for now because um, I wanted you guys to see it. But this is what it looks like. So it's dry. I've temporarily put the clock seats. It's, it's very wobbly because I haven't tightened it. I'm not going to tighten it up because it just doesn't make sense. Um, I'm still, I still have to resin the piece. Um, I have my husband drill the hole in for me. Um, so yeah, look how cool it looks. It's going to be a wicked clock. So let's just say like it's up on the wall, like right here. How cool is that? Like, I mean, it would be really cool. So for those people who thought that, I don't think the clock hands um, cover the design at all um, or the clock mechanism for that matter. Um, so I think it's really cool. Let me see, I move the clock hands a bit, but like, see, how cool is that? And I think I'm gonna leave it at this orientation too. Uh, I like the way it looks like this. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, but I'm very excited. I'm gonna end up resining this probably tonight along with everything else and I will record it, so then that way you guys get to see how I do that. So let me go put this back before I drop it and then we have a big problem. All right, so put that there. All right, so that is just those two pieces that I wanted to show you. So now I will bring you guys down so we can get started on tonight's painting. All right, let's see here. Put you guys here in the center. Whoa, come on. I have a glass top on my table and it's slipping and sliding. All right. All righty, so let me just tie up my hair here. All right, so are we good here? I think we're in good focus. You know what, I have a piece of cardboard here. I'm gonna put this on the cardboard because I have a feeling this is gonna slip on the glass tabletop and we're gonna have a big problem. All right, perfect, I think we're good. And of course, there's always my shadow because you gotta love the pot lights. There we go. So what I have here, before I start, I'm gonna show you guys, you may have seen again in my last video, me talking about this awesome silicone mat. So if you're new watching or you never saw my last video, this is um, a new mat that uh, a new friend of mine sent me to try out. Her name is Adriana and her company is called, let's see here. Of course, now I put the cardboard box 
on the mat. Oh, <laughs> I'm a disaster. I'm a disaster. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here it is. So if you didn't see the last video, it's here now. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, but the company, and now I know how to pronounce it properly because I wasn't sure last time. Um, it's L-O-L-I-V-E-F-E. -E -E. So it's called Lolly Vaif. That's how you pronounce it. I was calling it Vif. It's actually Lolly Vaif, which actually spells love life, which is pretty cool. Now this silicone mat is the jumbo size um, and it's shiny on both sides and it's very, very sturdy. And it's the jumbo size and it is 31 and a half by 24 inches and this thing is amazing and you can buy these pieces too so this is like um, a scraper so when you're done if you want to just do an easy cleanup you just scrape it all off and i'm telling you man this thing scrapes everything off easily and then she also sent me this little holder um, which is good for paint brushes um, oh, jesus goodness <laughs> Let's start that again, shall we? All right, sorry. <laughs> I'm a disaster tonight. Oh my God. Okay, everybody have a good laugh. Awesome. So, <laughs> so here is my spatula that I love so much and it's perfect for putting my spatula in. So you can use it for whatever you want. But now the thing is I didn't scrape um, my paints off of it because for those of you who like to keep the skins, so after I did my rounds with the uh, Extreme Sheen, I had these puddles left over and I didn't peel them off on purpose because I wanted you guys to see how easy, look at this, how easy it is to peel these off, right? So for those of you who keep skins to make jewelry or anything like that, look at this. How cool is that? Oh, look, it looks like a bra. <laughs> oh, look at the back. The back is shiny. Oh my gosh. That is super neat. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, it looks like a bra, like for real. But see, look at that. So this peeled off super easily. Let's peel this one off. That is so cool. What? Look at that. Wow, look at that. Look at the back. Okay, guys, seriously, that's cool. The back is better than the front. Although the front's pretty cool. So... Um, Arinska, if you're watching, these are coming your way. So for those of you who may or may not know, um, Arinska has a special project where she's asking everyone to send whoever wants to send their skins. It's called We Are One Skin. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I'll be sending these to you, Arinska. I'll put that information below as well. So anyways, this mat is really, really cool. If anyone is interested in buying the mat, um, I know a lot of people have already bought it um, when they saw my video yesterday. Um, I know probably like 10, 15 people have bought the mat. Um, but if you're interested in buying this mat, there is a promo code. So if you want to save a couple of bucks, you can do so um, by using the code CANELA5. So all you got to do is punch in my name, CANELA, and put the number five right next to it and you save $5 off the mat. So if you wanna buy the mat, head on over. I'll put the link um, in the description below in the video. Just click on the link. It'll take you directly to the jumbo mat. And I'm pretty sure the code is already inserted for you, but just in case it's not, just put in Canela5 and that'll save you five bucks off the mat. Um, she is based in the US. She ships from the US and her prices on the website are in US because uh, someone else was asking me that as well. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's get started. But yeah, this thing is amazing. I love it. I don't have my colored newspaper down here anymore. Um, so this is super, super cool. All right, let's get started. I've got a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm not doing a Dutch pour tonight. Tonight, we're going ring style. So I'm gonna do a... Um, I haven't decided if I'm just going to do a regular tree ring pour or if I'm going to do a, a kiss pour. Um, but let me figure that out in a minute. So in the meantime, I'm just going to flood my canvas. Um, and in here is just my mixture of white acrylic, Artist Loft acrylic flow white. And it's just got Floetrol and water in it. 
So I'm just gonna put a really thin layer. I'm not gonna put too much um, because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna tilt all the paint off when I'm doing the kiss pour anyway, or the ring pour, whatever I decide to do. So I'm just gonna use my awesome spatula. And for those of you who wanna buy this spatula, you can do so on Amazon. I have my um, Amazon links to my shops listed below. There's a Canadian shop and a US shop. Feel free to check it out. Uh, feel free to use the link to just do normal shopping there as well. So that takes care of that. I also have, this is the same thing, same thing as in the other bottle, but in a squeeze bottle, which makes it very handy um, to go around the edges here and make sure I get all my edges covered. I bought this, uh, this bottle from Dollar Tree, but you can pretty much buy it at any dollar store. They're condiment bottles for like ketchup and that stuff. So these are pretty cool. I love these bottles. All right, just run my finger across, make sure all my edges are good. Perfect. I'm going to torch it and get any air bubbles in here out. Whew, my torch is on full power because I filled it with butane the other night. All right. Oh, got something in there. Perfect. Okay, so I thought I'd do purples and blues because you all know me, I love blue. So tonight's colors I'm going to use are Thalo Blue by Academy. Uh, and then I have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. And then I have Dioxazine Purple, Liquitex Basics, and Prism Violet, Liquitex Basics, Brilliant Purple, Liquitex Basics, and Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. And then in both of those, I'm gonna add the contrasting color of my favorite, Antique Copper by Folk Art. And for those of you who are just watching and new, um, if you want to know how I mix the paint in my squeeze bottles, I have a video. It's number 63. Check it out. You'll see it pop up here, a link. Feel free to click on the link. It'll tell you how I mix these paints with Floetrol some water uh, and the ratios. Okay, so check that out if you want to know. Alrighty, so let's get started. I've got two cups here. Let me, uh, oh, I'll use my trusty spatula holder here to put it in there. Well, that's perfect actually. I'll move this aside just a bit so that we can fill the cups. Now, these bottles, I have them, the ratios that I have in there are typically for my Dutch pours, um, but I've used them for ring pours and I don't seem to have uh, an issue. So we'll try it anyway, trial and error, right? So I'm gonna start with a uh, little bit of the antique copper. Now I did shake all these before I started recording. So just enough to put some at the bottom. Now keep in mind, whatever you put at the bottom is the color that's gonna come out last in the center. So don't forget that. I'm just gonna add a bit more actually. All right, so then we will do, let's do the metallic cobalt blue. And I always clean the tip um, before I squirt because there's always sometimes um, dried gunk in there. So you don't want that falling in the cup. All right, so. Well, these are a little on the watery side, but we'll see. No big deal. All right, so let's move on to, let's do the bright aqua green. Now, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like, I mean, this could end up being really pretty or it could be a hot mess, but I like these colors, so I thought I'd try it and see what happens, all right? And you can always multi-layer too, right? Like, I mean, you could use the same color again. It, you know, there's no wrong or right to it, all right? Let's add the dark blue. Okay, 
And last but not least, the iridescent blue green. I love this color. Actually, I love all these colors. All right, so let's see. Do I want to add any more? That should be enough. I've got just almost over half a cup there. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. I'm going to add a smidge of the antique copper again and some metallic cobalt blue. And what the heck, why not? Let's add some more phthalo blue. <laughs> Just to fill the cup up a bit more. I'd rather have too much paint and I can always tip it off um, than not enough paint and then I'm overstretching everything. All right, so that takes care of those. Let's uh, move on to the purples. Ooh, look at that. Look at the cell action going on in there. You see that? That's pretty cool. Huh, interesting. All right. So I'll start again with, since I started with the copper there, I might as well continue that here. Let's do prism violet. Just make sure it covers the bottom of my cup. All right, prism violet. I debated whether I should put yellow in there, but I thought, nah, let's just stick to blue and purples for tonight. All right, uh, Brilliant Purple. So I'm in the kitchen, as I said, and Mr. Juno is hanging out on the back deck. I can see him, he's having a nap. We just had like a one hour walk. Took him for a big long walk. He's pooched, he is exhausted, so he's having a nap. I'll try and go outside after and show you guys what he's up to. All right, that is the dioxazine purple. Let's do some, see, look at the gunk on there. You don't want that going in your cup. That would suck. All right. Ooh, so pretty. All right. Okay. And I'll do the same thing I did before with the blue, just add some copper here. And then I added, let's see, maybe I'll add some prism and I'll top it off with dioxazine purple because I love this dark purple. All right, so this should be Enough looks like the exact same amount as what's in the blue cup. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. So here we go. Got the two cups. Looking pretty neat. I think I'm going to do a kiss pour, guys. I, I've had some pretty good luck with my kiss pours. Um, and I love the technique. I love doing them. They were, um, the technique was created by um, Olga Sobi from Smart Art Materials, a um, good friend of mine. So I think I'm going to do that technique. All right, just added some white because I could see the canvas. All right, so I'm going to squeeze my hands here. And I'm going to kneel because it's easier for me that way. And let's go. So we're going to make the paints kiss. And see what happens. Wow. Oh my God, these colors are so pretty. Concentration. Geez, this is exhausting and 
lots of concentration involved. All right, getting to the end. And you don't want to ruin the ring in the middle by dripping anywhere. So I'm going to take that one away and put your finger under. And wow. Holy cow, the copper looks pretty neat. That's really cool. I see a lot of air bubbles though, so I'm going to give it a quick torch. Oh, wow, that is pretty. Look what's in there. Can you see that? My lighting in here sucks. I'm going to invest in some lights. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so now the key is patience, something I lack. <laughs> and just you got to do it really slow. So if you want to fast forward, now would be a good time. Um, but yeah, you have to do it really slow or else you're just going to ruin the rings could turn out to be a hot mess. Boy, oh boy, these colors are stunning. That is unbelievable. Um, so today's Monday. It's Monday night. I have four days left at my job that I resigned at. So I'm pretty excited. I'll be off all next week. So I might do... Um, some live pours next week during the day haven't decided just yet what do you guys think should i do a live pour sometime next week maybe i don't know wednesday or thursday one of those two days it'll be one of those two days but uh yeah let me know maybe i'll do a live in the daytime um but yeah i'll be off all next week be uh kids first day uh back to first week back to school they start on tuesday so kids are pretty excited to go back to school believe it or not they really are um, they love school so they go back next week so i took a week off in between quitting and going to my new job so I'll get to spend a week with them and a week with Juno and, you know, kind of tidy up around the house, kind of purge some stuff, get ready for the fall and winter. All right, so I'm just going to do this to help the paint move. All right. Tilt it off now. Move so much easier when you do that all right wow these colors are just amazing so amazing all right let's make our way down to this corner and we are not moving very well i think my white is too thick i think that might be my problem here all right here we go now she's moving drip it over and then i'm just gonna come okay all right let's move down here and then we'll be good oh man i love these blues i love love blue it's insane Sorry, you guys have a glare going on, but I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this is so cool. Oh, I love the copper. Wow, look at my hands. Wow. This is super neat. All right, so what do we got there? I didn't get to the edge here, but I don't want to tilt it anymore. Cause I don't want to ruin the rings. So I'm just going to touch it with my fingers. Whoo, I'm a mess. Oh, that looks pretty though. Look at that. 
All right, I was smart to take my rings off this time. I do not wear my rings. I took my rings to my jeweler last two weeks ago because my diamond, um, my diamond and my engagement ring I noticed was loose. I must have hit it or something. And I thank God I noticed because <laughs> wouldn't want to lose that. My husband would kill me. So anyways, I took it to the jeweler along with my wedding bands and she, you know, I took them off and she grabbed them and grabbed her little magnifying glass to look at the diamonds. And she says to me, um, do you paint by any chance? And I said, why I do? Yes. Why do you ask? She goes, your rings are filthy. <laughs> and I've tried with, you know, a toothbrush and I clean them. I clean them, you know, the best I can with a toothbrush, but there are little crevices that the toothbrush cannot reach. And she laughed her head off and she's like, um, yeah. She's like, I wouldn't wear them while you're painting. <laughs> so there's a speck of white and I want to get it out. Ah, sweet. I got it. Guys, this looks, holy cow, look at this right here is my favorite. I can't believe this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is stunning. I'm just going to get my little corners here. That's good. That's good. That's good. And this is not. Yeah, I think my... um. My white paint is too thick, so I'm going to have to add a little water to it. But other than that, this turned out pretty sweet. All right, let me uh, bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, without dropping the camera for the third time. All right. Check it out. This is my favorite right here. Look at the blue. That is the iridescent um, blue green and the aqua. Like that is, this is really great. Like, I mean, it didn't keep the rings perfectly in here, but I really like it here. And then right up here is actually pretty cool too. Let me see if I can do it without a shadow. Yeah, right there. Like that's really cool. And these, like the colors, I love the colors. What do you guys think? Let me know in the, in the comments what you guys think about this. So feel free, if you like it, to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Oh gosh, look at my hands. Um, <laughs> if you are a new watcher, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check out all my social media links below, guys. I'm on Pinterest, um, Instagram, Facebook. Check out all the links below. And my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. So that's it for me. Um, let me know what you guys think. And then I'll just take you guys outside so you guys can get a little quick view of Juno. Let's see what he's up to, although he's sleeping, but that's okay. It's really nice and cool out for him. So here in, oops, sorry. Here in Canada, um, at nighttime, it drops to about 10 to 12 degrees, which is actually very nice and refreshing. Oh, hello, sir. Did I wake you? What? Hi. Were you sleeping? <laughs> Say hi, Juno. He's like, <laughs> now he's turning his back. Hi, buddy. Hi. You want to say hi? Is that your bone? He's chewing on an elk antler. All right, guys. There's Mr. Juno. Hey, buddy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Juno, you want to say bye? Juno. Oh my God, I got paint on him. <laughs> Shoot. I better clean that off. Oh, Juno, mama got paint on you. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay, guys. Have a good night. Bye.